Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. It's going to be a bit of a mix-up really, but I'm predominantly going to be opening up the 6-star. I'm going to begin by opening up some max signatures, then we're going to move on to the greater last stand crystals. Because they seem to be pretty cool. And by the way, as I'm recording this video, I'm actually coming back from holiday at the moment, which is kind of weird. I'm probably actually home, or just arrived back home now. So, if you're thinking about me, which I know you are, I've probably just entered into the back door. Yes, I've entered into the back door. Maybe I'm in the house. I don't know. In either case, think about me somewhere, and I'm sure that uh, you'll get some sort of mild enjoyment. I don't know, whatever, whatever lights your candle, really. But hopefully your six star luck is going well. There's a lot of champions I really hope to get. For example, I'd love to see myself getting a six star cap infinity war. Oh, that would be so absolutely rivetingly and delightfully spendiferous. Which is not a word, so what am I talking about? And I've just popped open these last five max signatures. No, it wasn't a mortal iron fist. That's a bit of a shame, but there you go. Got a couple of Grandmasters here, just to pop them open. The three star. Let me guess, the next one's going to be a three star as well. Because I am a piss kick. I am a piss kick, by the way. Three star, three star, three star. Oh, look at that, it's a three star. But this is of value to me because, as you know, we're trying to do objectives. And that means that I've completed an objective. So, yeah, roll on. Some easy shards there that are going to be for the last stand crystals. In particular, I want the greater ones. So let's give it a bash. Can I get an awakening gem? That would be amazing. Look, they're putting in loads of awakening gems in there. Granted, they are four star ones. But I'd love to get a five star one. We all would love to get a five star one. Uh, tier five basics. Yeah, that would be nice. Tier two alpha. Yeah, okay, that would that would be nice as well. Just as long as it's not something like tier one. You kind of think, I think a lot of people, I've seen on the forum, a lot of people criticizing the extent of drop rates. So what can I get from this? Units, that would have been nice. Gold. But sandwich, it was kind of weird because it felt that when that crystal was good, it just stopped. It wasn't a case it just like slowly flowed onto something. It just went, stop, you're getting 10k gold. Uh, a bit of trollish, yeah, a bit trollish, but I guess that's the thing with this. And for those unfamiliar with my six stars at the moment, these are them. Sabretooth, Green Goblin, Bishop, Gamora, Sentry, Sentinel, and King Groot. Now, I was very favourable on the gods of Kabam when they did give me a Sabretooth at six star. Also, the Gamora buff recently has been quite good. Having King Groot for the purpose of Variant 2 has been amazing. And Sentinel, likewise, two amazing XL champions, in my opinion, with King Groot. Only for that, would be nice for him. A little bit of buff Rooney, but, you know... It's a thing. The fact is, I'd love to see an awakening on Sentinel, King Groot, and Sabretooth, and Gamora as well, but I will settle for something new and something extremely powerful, like a Cap Infinity War, or a Corvus. I'm due this, Kabam. Deliver. So, it's time to kick off your week with a little bit of disappointment. No, I'm not going to be disappointed. Kabam are going to sort me well out with a decent champion. Uh, not the champion. Guillotine, kind of would hope for that one, but I've got some other ideas, but anything that doesn't require an awakening would be amazing. Any of the ones that I said that I would like to awaken if I can get them awakened, that would be amazing. Come on. Uh, I've seen Aegon, but really require awakening. We're in, and it's going to be, please, it's, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah. Next time it's like I've got to, I've got to get the girl awakened. Oh yes. Get in. Get in. Okay. So I am absolutely buzzing right now. I haven't spent a lot of time because I've only had a four-star version of Ghost. Not really kind of done much to kind of learn the champion. I probably will, rather than going, um, I'll take my own expense, I'll probably go over to Panda Man Pete's videos, have a look at his kind of guides on, on the champion, learn myself, uh, and maybe do like something like a noob's guide, but I feel that that's kind of a bit unfair to, to someone that's already done some amazing content. So uh, yeah, shout out to Panda Man Pete. I'm gonna go and have a look at your video, and, uh, and yeah, just kind of go about using the champion. Granted, by being an unawakened version, it isn't gonna be, Super powerful, but at the same time, I'm sure with the Unawakened version, it's still pack a punch. So, yeah, like I said, I'm absolutely buzzing by this. I think it mess... It, I can't even speak. I'm so deliriously happy. 
uh, that it makes up for the disappointment of the five star opening on Saturday. So I'm, I'm pretty buzzing by this. So yeah, absolutely amazing. Ah. <sighs> Which does mean that I'm now uh, getting some class basic six star openings like Sabretooth was the last one and then having Ghost. Yeah, this six star roster is starting to really impress me now. It was a little bit mediocre to begin with, but the recent buff to Gamora, having Sabretooth, Sentinel, King Groot, now Ghost. And as well, utilizing Bishop a huge amount going up against uh, Human Torch. Do think that's pretty good as well. And obviously some synergies with Sentry. Green Goblin's a good champion in any case. I can't really take that away from him. But the fact is, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy about this roster now. Right, so that has been the video. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a blast, really. A blast to see a decent champion enter my roster. When there's been a little bit of disappointment with the Saturday video with the five stars. But that's life. That's playing MCOC. You take the rough with the smooth. You gamble. You get something good. You get something terrible. You make the best out of the situation as best you can. And you move on to the next one. And the next one. And the next one. In any case, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions based content. Put notifications on so you get to see the MCC news when it pings up. If you want to follow me on the Discord server, come and join our Discord. It's growing in number. And also, it's a good way to kind of talk to me in person or by messaging or whatever. Also, if you like what I do on the channel, please consider hitting the join button and supporting me as a creator and becoming a member. In any case, thanks very much for watching. And I shall catch you in the next one. Bye bye for now.